All right, here's the whole setup. I'm unhooking it as we speak. Got a couple connections for the exhaust. And it looks like the output on the top for the air is just cut out a rectangular thing to put a box on the top. And then all the vents branch out from there into that bigger box. So I won't have to take that out. I'll just have to cut a top according to that size in the new furnace and put it on top like that. Similar with the side, just cut it out on the side of the furnace, the new furnace, and then just attach it to that. Maybe cut a little slide in there for a filter. And then this is where all the hookups are. This power switch is the black and white. And then this gas tube, I'm going to, I turned off the gas and then now I'm going to uninstall it from the gas control thing. I'll probably detach it from on the bottom there. And or maybe I'll detach it from just right there or something. Somewhere it's easy and then get it installed on the new one later. So that should be all that's attached. And then I'm going to put a, uh, I'm going to make a new concrete slab down there. So for it to sit on, it looks like they had old either those bricks or some wood down there and then this is just getting all uh, rusty from the moisture down there all the time probably from flooding previously or from just the moisture from the ground because it's constantly moist moist down here so that looks like it's it and I'll get a measurement how tall it is see if the new one is gonna work in there That's where the furnace was. And on the ground it looks like there's pieces of the 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 bottom panel of that furnace, the old one. And they just had it on those blocks, the ceramic or brick, whatever they are. And it just rusted out on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dig out a little square spot or um really impact the bottom there and then I'm going to put in a concrete slab just pour it in so it has something to sit on hopefully it's the right same measurement as the uh, old attachment there might have to customize it and then I have to figure out this water thing because it busted during the winter that's another project I have to figure out where the uh, water sh shutoff valve for the city uh, out on the street figure out where that is and then I'll I'll be able to fix that but we're not right now we're gonna focus in on this furnace that's gonna be that's priority number one and uh, so I don't have to suffer again this winter well that's interesting I took this broom and just kind of swept it off to see what was underneath there I thought it was dirt but it looks like there's more of those brick pieces down there so maybe this does have like a an actual brick floor I don't know might have to uncover it all but maybe I'll just use that I didn't know that was like that there's just so much dirt well this dirt's coming down just because of this brick wall is like coming apart <clears throat> so the dirt falls down okay well maybe there is a little floor there I'm gonna save some work well, this is the furnace I took out of there. That was uh, really in bad shape. You could tell it's just rusted out the whole entire bottom. It's just buckling. This is upside down. So this is on the, sitting on the ground. But I can't even believe that it lasted that long and that I tried to make it work. So I guess I'm just going to invest in uh, a furnace because that's going to be the most important thing and I want to take advantage of the deals that are going on going on right now for them and I found a 
I found one that's new. It was in storage. And some guy had it for his garage, but he had it for eight years. And he just never used it. So I'm going to get about more than half the price for that one. So I felt like that was, I'll jump on top of that. That should work. I've never done this before. So I just knew I needed to take care of this right away.